Welcome to the Clap Back with Julia Raginsky, where we take Twitter back from the trolls. And here in the Clap Back, we also call out bad grammar, but my friends, the time has come to call out bad math. Let's look at this tweet from the White House. Quote, fact, when Obamacare was signed, CBO estimated that 23 million would be covered in 2017. They were off by 100%. Only 10.3 million people are covered. And I clapped and added back, quote, good Lord, spin aside, basic arithmetic evades these people. 100% of 23 million is drumroll, 23 million. Then the mathematicians came out. The tweets to me were a lot like, quote, are you really that dense? 10.3 versus 23 is what percentage? Sparky? Well, Sparky is a new one, and I responded, about 45 percent Sparky. Unlike whoever came up with that statistic at the White House, I actually completed the fourth grade. Let me respond with more than 140 characters. Monday's Congressional Budget Office analysis found that if the Senate bill were enacted, and let's not forget, this is the same CBO the White House quoted, 22 million fewer people would have health insurance over the next decade. That's in part due to the bill's rollback of the Medicaid expansion. And Republicans, who are the so-called ones so-called advocating for blue-collar workers, who are the backbones of our society, yeah, that would be taking critical health care away from them. Here's the deal. Medicaid is not for these welfare queens that Republicans love to sit there and talk about, these, these lazy, able-bodied people, men that Kelly Con Kellyanne Conway talked about. They're actually about people like our grandparents who need it for nursing home care or for the working poor who are working in jobs that don't provide health care and they don't earn enough to buy health care otherwise. It is for people who are trying to get ahead or towards the end of their life who are just trying to live out the rest of their life with dignity. So let's be very clear about whom these people are hurting. They're not hurting the Republicans, the people who live in the Upper East Side of Manhattan and Trump Tower. They're hurting people in their own constituencies. Mitch McConnell, you're hurting people in Kentucky. Rand Paul, you're hurting people in Kentucky, although Rand Paul opposes this bill. John Cornyn, you're hurting people in Texas, the people living in Amarillo, Texas, and others. You're hurting your own constituents, the people that put their trust in you. And Donald Trump, that's your base. But let's get real. This is your health care on the line. Do the research. You will very likely be impacted if this bill passes. Lifetime caps on benefits, the fact that you will actually be able to be discriminated against in some places for pre-existing conditions. See how and let your lawmaker know how you feel. 202-225-3121 is a congressional number. And the House of Representatives and the Senate, call them up. Ask to speak to your congressman. Speak up and clap back. And now actually for some personal news. Today marks my last episode of The Clapback and my last week at Fox. Hopefully you learn words can cut really deep, but you can also stand up to trolls, teach them something bigger, and be the bigger woman. I have been here at Fox News for a very long time. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed you. Thank you so much for watching The Clapback. Thank you so much for watching me on TV all these years. One of the joys in my life was interacting with you, whether it was agreeing with you or clapping back at you. So for Fox News, this is The Clapback with Julia Raginsky.